Well, these retailers expand Black Friday sales. They're really not just covering today. They're covering the whole weekend. And you wonder the concept of Black Friday, how important it is versus the next few days or even the days leading up uh, to the Christmas holiday. But in terms of consumers, are they being too conditioned to expect some of these big sales you see on that sign and you hear Hillary talking about? The former Sachs chairman is with us, Steve uh, Sadov. And Steve, it's good to have you on. And I always kind of do wonder, I was even picking up my phone looking at Amazon this morning and uh, walking into work and seeing all the, uh, the store signs. It's, this economy is, is, as the guys were saying a few minutes ago, at the moment, it's very, very strong. I know we have concerns about the future. We have such a strong economy. Why do we need so many big sales from these retailers? Well, look, it is a strong economy. The, uh, the retail numbers are tracking well. The MasterCard spending pulse forecast for the season is a plus 5%, and it looks like it's tracking to that. We had some numbers coming in this morning that said the early read is pretty good. So mm -hmm. I'm encouraged by what I'm seeing. The reality, though, is it's not a short season. It's early. It's late. I think one of the most interesting things is that the biggest day of the uh, season is not just Black Friday, but it's the Sunday before uh, Christmas is right. as big as Black Friday. The discounts are there. The consumer who's out there shopping today is expecting to have a deal. But the retailers know that. They're building it into their margin structure so that what's happening is the consumer is feeling that they're getting a good value, but the retailer is still making their margin because they understand that. So I think that value is an important component, but so is uniqueness, so is experience. The consumer is expecting all of it. That's why they want to get it, uh, they want to get it now. They want to get the items that are the best value. But they also want something special. Right. But those sales are not dependent, to your point, they're not dependent on where the economy is. I mean, because we're in a great economy and you still get the great uh, sales, even though, you know, by most measures, people have a lot of money to spend. Most people who want a job have one, right? Sure, but they want an incentive to get out there. So it's the value, the deal is part of, they want to beat the system. They want to get something that nobody else is able to get. They want to get the best deal to be able to tell their friends that they got it, even if they could afford to pay 10% more than it might have been. So this is all part of the game that both the retailers are playing and the consumer. And the consumer wants to say, hey, I got, I bet beat the system. I got a really good deal because I got up early. Now, right. the reality is it's a little different than it used to be. I used to get up at three in the morning to to go check out the stores. Now I get up a little bit later because sometimes I'm buying it online, sometimes I'm going to the store. But the stores are busy, you're getting the volume, and online is becoming an even more important part. It's about yeah. 10, 15 percent of the volume. And not just for Amazon, but for all these companies that operate in the stores, they have an online component to them. Which leads me to my next qu question, which isn't really a joke. Why do people go to stores? I mean, I, I legitimately wonder, like when I see someone out in the store, um, behind Hillary growing up. I mean, they can pick up their phone and do the same, just about the same thing, get about the same deal. I mean, I couldn't even imagine, I can't imagine doing any, any of my holiday shopping in an actual store. Oh my store. gosh, you're so wrong on the whole thing. No, but why? You know, it's no, not no, just not wrong. Like, that's just the way. No, I'm not no, saying well, it's not, not right a question wrong. right I'm or wrong. I don't I mean, do it. I'm wondering, I'm legitimately wondering why other people do I Oh my God, because it. people buy for many reasons. A good part of it is the experience of shopping. Really? Oh. So, oh yeah, about 80% plus of shopping is still done in a brick and mortar store. Brick know, and mortar no, isn't dying. It's, it's strange so, but it's to me a, though. But they want to touch, they want to feel. Think about apparel. Apparel, it, it, my old company, Saks, was doing 30, 35% of the product online, yeah. but they still want to touch and feel, and they want oh to meet with the associate and experience it. So I think that your point earlier I thought was fascinating, which is this convergence of online and stores. Right. So the Amazons of the world are now opening up stores. Then you have the brick and mortar uh, guys who are saying buy online, pick up in store. So Walmart is moving much more in the direction of being omni-channel and encouraging the online shopping. Amazon is opening up stores. You have yeah. the pop-up stores. You have the Warby Parkers who are online opening up stores. But then you have the online, these, uh, the brick and mortar people Target growing 40, 50 percent, Walmart growing mm -hmm. 40, 50 percent of their internet business. And it's this convergence that is really what the consumer is valuing because they want to buy, uh, they want to buy anytime, anywhere they want to get product. And to your mm -hmm. point, some of them hate going into a store. Sure. Others just want to go into a store. But a, the good retailer is going to provide that experience wherever they want it, and they're going to give them the value that they want. So that question of do they need to promote? 
yeah. absolutely they need to promote, but they're going to build it into the pricing structure yeah, and, and the margin. That, that separation between the two, I mean, it's almost like a false premise now to stay online versus brick and mortar. It seems like anyway, because oh, you know, absolutely, it's got both, absolutely you know? right. Right, you're Good absolutely to see you, right, Steve. Thank you. Uh, even Thanks a lot. You're trying to explain to me what the value of is going to store. I, I mean, I just don't get it, especially on a day like this. But I, I do see why other people would. I guess.